Welcome back everybody to the Zeus Daz Unemulated Retro Game Channel. I go by the name of Zeus and I have another shit game time video review for you. And this time we're going to do Double Dragon on the ZX Spectrum. Now this is, it's a paid request by Stefano Peracci. Hello mate, how you doing? But um, it's a freebie for me. He's asked me to basically pick a Spectrum game of my choosing to put into the shit game time and let's be honest all the Double Dragon conversions, Double Dragon 1 especially were utterly, utterly crap crud shitey shite on the 8 bits and the um, 16 bits uh, computers it was done by Melbourne House uh, it was a perfect example of selling a game on the back of a very famous arcade name thinking well everyone's going to buy that regardless of what is going to turn out so bad it was especially on the Commodore 64 they decided to actually make some bullshit excuse in the instructions an apology of some what and I've read it and it's a joke talking about um, having to reduce certain things because of the hardware but it won't spoil your fun of the game yeah give me shite it was awful and that along with the American version is also on my shit game time series but I've covered this across certain um, formats and I think it's about time the ZX Spectrum one was included as well because none of them are good um, but what I'm going to say is I shall cut off for a second because I cannot seem to get this game started in one player mode no matter what I do I start off with two players so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off for a second I'm going to start a two player game get the second player killed off and then I can progress with one player I don't know why I, it won't let me do it there's something I'm either missing or I've got a funny version I'm not sure but every time I start the game it decides to do two player so no idea but anyway let's see what, what who it was published by it was published by Melbourne House of course I don't know how they got the rights you think a bigger software house at the time like Ocean or US Gold would have got it but it was Melbourne House and it was, uh, let's have a look at the authors, David Leach, Ben Jackson, Jeremy Nelson and Danny Whelan or something like that. So there was four guys that was programming this version. And, you know, within it, what was it, a year or half a year later? I guess that have been, maybe, I'm not sure if Ocean went for the bid. But even if, if they did, I guess they were slight, holding a slight grudge because... Uh, what, within half a year or a year later, what did we get? Target Renegade. Now that is the pinnacle of beat-em-ups on the 8-bit, especially the ZX Spectrum 1 to 8K version. It's a phenomenal game. And, you know, once the tears were wiped from the Double Dragon uh, conversions, seeing what they turned out, once the crying was over and we got, double, uh, we got Target Renegade, then the joy. Finally, we all got a worthy beat-em-up on the 8-bit systems but uh, this was was just terrible at the time and Target Renegade showed what could be done but that's enough of that that's a different story let's get on with Double Dragon for the ZX Spectrum so bear with me for just a split second while I get this game going oh and I actually managed to get it one player mode so here we go here we go you can throw it <laughs> they, still, they still maintain their position when you throw them <laughs> when you throw them over your shoulder it's like Wee! <laughs> it looked like you're in a in a throwing up over the toilet bowl which is basically um, you know kind of what this game is isn't it <laughs> when you first saw it but it moves well it's very responsive colors certainly could be better uh, characters are drawn quite big actually um, they're quite defined the sound effects are absolutely um, laughable in a way and to show that there is black characters in this you can see there's a black character uh, you can also head up look at that see so the moves are there um, the kicks what else we got the jumps we've also got the elbows so all the moves are there I'll give it that and this guy's quite difficult but um and it moves quite fast the scrolling is very fast but unfortunately it's um, it's just not something's missing isn't it but the sound effects are um, 
are terrible. It's 48k, you know, there's no 1 to 8k sound, so... But, yeah, you definitely can... You can actually do all the moves. There's the headbutt again. But, oh, so... Oh, and the punch. I haven't done the punch yet. So the punches are there as well. So all the moves are there. And it's very fast too, as I said. I give it that. But when you load up Target Renegade, you can see what could be done. So yeah, there's... Um, I can't remember if there's any special moves. So that's the jump. That's the punch. That's the uh, jump again. That's the headbutt. Elbow. Um... I can't remember if there is any other special moves. I'm not sure if you can climb up here on the C64. You can't. Yes, you can. So that's another plus. Okay, we'll give it that. You know what? It's not as bad as I remembered it. To be honest with you. Oh, and you can pick up the weapons. Yeah, you can pick up the weapons. Yeah, anyway. Um, all in the famous car posters there. So again, I'll give it that. Oh, no, no, no. Where are you going? Let's whip you. I'd rather have that bat, to be honest with you. Come on. That's it. Let me drop the weapon. I wanted the bat. Yeah, I got the bat. Okay, here we go. Come on. Oh, you little git. Oh, you... He's being a little shit, isn't he? No. Oh, right, he's, he's got a pattern. Here we go. Right, I'm going to have to... Um... He's beating the shit out of me, isn't he? Right, get out of it. There we go, wallop. Now a Bobo, ah, and, and Bobo actually comes out the wall as well, so that's another plus. Doesn't quite look as fearsome as the arcade of Bobo. A little bit slow. You know what, it's not as bad as I thought, if I only had one to 8k version, you know, the music. And they can punch you offline somehow. Like him. I mean, I'm way above him. And he's getting through to me. Oh, come on, mate. That's not on. That's not on. There we go. I'm going to stay here now and just... There we go. Done, yeah. Leave the bat. So you can you can uh, climb up the ladders. Oh, and we got Black and Bobo. So that's included as well. Move! Oh, I got double whammed there. Look at these guys. They're... Right, I'm going to have to change my plan because I'm not getting anywhere with these guys. Let's get rid of you. Over you go. He's <laughs> throwing it by the toilet. Oh, dear. Come on, you were nowhere near me. There you go, over you go. Oh, will you? Oh, yeah, come on, start again. I can't get rid of a Bobo, he's getting in my way. Come on, you're nowhere near me. Nowhere near me. Shut up, Snoops. My dog, he always barks at something. Get here! Come on, let me lie down. I've got to try and get all this. I can't. Oh, you die! <laughs> oh man, oh man, I can't get rid of this. Right. No, you stay up there, Bobo. That's fine. Will you die? Good, good. Okay. Now let's deal with you. Oh, oh, can I put him? Yes, I can. Yeah, right, level one done. It's just a shame there's no music. 
No music at all. Completed mission one. Okay. Uh, caps lock to load level two. Oh, we definitely want caps load, don't we? You don't want to um, play level one again, so caps. Why would you want to do that? What a stupid option. Level two. Ooh, he's got a knife, and I do not want him throwing that at me. I wonder if you can actually, um... What's he doing? I wonder if you can actually climb that fence like you can in the arcade. We'll soon find out. No, can't climb that. So... Oh, he's even got the barrel. So it's all there. I'll say that it's not as bad as I remember it. But it, yeah, I mean, it's shit. It could have been done a lot. It could be done a lot better, couldn't it? Let's face it. Oh, I wanted to throw you over the pit. Yeah, it's definitely. I can do what I want with it. There's no doubt about that. It moves quick. I'll give it that. I mean, maybe we were being too hopeful back in the day, asking too much for eight bits. But uh, yeah, you certainly won't want to play the um, you won't want to play the C64 version for Christ's sake. And the the Amstrad Drosoft version was bloody awful too. Oh, you got another guy here? Come here then. Oh, come on then. Let's get rid of you. So yeah, the moves are there. It moves fast. What happened there? Come on, up you go. Uh, let's see if I can... Can I... Go all the way up here? I think I can. Yes, yeah, so it's allowing me to do that. You can't do that on the Amiga version. Or the Commodore 64 version. Don't know about this, the Amstrad. Turn round, that's it. That's what I want. If I can, uh, I'm going to try and throw that barrel in a minute. Pick up. I'm trying to throw it, but he's he's moving too quickly for me. Yeah, you've got to be way over there to get it to get it connected. Come on, die. That's it. Oh blimey, I forgot about that. Lot. I'll just keep doing that. I think in the arcade version you can just constantly elbow and get around it that way. But you know what? I mean, it is shit, let's face it. But um, it could have been... Oh, there's no boss then. Is that it? Oh, there's no boss. Completed mission two. Okay. Now what? Caps lock. Well, we want to play again, don't we? So... Caps, thank you. Mission three, it's in two parts, but thankfully I'm loading it into my toast rack with the SD device, so not any loading times. Fantastic. Let's do one of these. Oh, I got one guy. Over you go. Get the bat. Wallop, wallop. You know what, if, if you were to put a gun to my head and say, right, you're going to play one of the 8-bit Double Dragon versions on the Spectrum, Commodore, or Amstrad. Well, forget C64, that was fucking awful. Joke, do check that out on both versions. I even Ocean had a go at it later on, but what, what was the point? I don't know, it's bloody awful again. But it would be this. It's full screen. Well, when am I full screen? Full screen for 8-bit. It's not squashed. It's not in a letterbox, letterbox mode or anything. It moves really fast. It's just... I think it's because of the lack of music, isn't it? There's no... It's the music. It's like... Imagine playing Final Fight in the arcade without any music. It, it's the music that makes the atmosphere, isn't it? I mean, double... Target Renegade on the Spectrum is fantastic. Now, there's two versions, the 48K and the 128K. Now, you play the 128K, it's a dream. 
<laughs> then you play it in 48k mode. Game's still there, and it's multi-load. There's no music, and it makes the world a difference. There's no atmosphere. That's what it is. If it had a little background tune, this wouldn't be so bad. And, of course, you can play two players. Um, I think maybe we're expecting too much from the Spectrum to do what we wanted it to do at the time anyway in the scheme of things this isn't too bad I thought it was a lot worse I couldn't remember it but um, it's definitely a shit game time but I don't think it's going to score very high on it because as I said in fairness it's, it's not too bad it's not too bad I, I remembered it a lot worse than this maybe because as I said I was young and I was expecting so much more and I was disappointed And then it was all forgotten about within a year later when Target Renegade hit the shelves. And it was like, yeah, that's the game we've been waiting for. And like the Amiga and ST version, you can't hit them with your bat from facing the other way. <laughs> yeah, I don't like... Do you? Do you? I don't like that. But I guess what other sound effects could you do? Bobo's here somewhere, isn't he? There he is. Oh no, that's no. Don't don't throw the knife. I want to. You're going to throw it now, aren't you? Yeah, I knew you're going to throw it. I want to throw a knife. None of you. None of you let me throw in a knife yet. That's it. Right. Oh, there he is. Yeah, you can stay right there, mate. You're mine. Now, I don't want to do a long play of this. So, um, I'll end it shortly. In fact, we'll do this next level, and that's it. And then we'll make our decisions. 3 8. Come on. Right. Obviously, we want to play 3B. Fire. Oh, straight off the bat, I get walloped. And he's got a knife. And he's going to whack me with it, isn't he? Yeah. Well, no, he threw it. I've yet to pick up a knife and throw it. Oh, I'll stay there. All three of you in line. That'll do. Let's just stay there, boys. That'll do. Easy. Easy. Come on. Is there any more guys? There is. Let me throw the knife. Oh, you haven't got one. Bugger. Thought you had a knife. Headbutt. Have some of that. A few punches. No. Yeah, a few punches and headbutt. All right, you're gone now. There's a knife. There's a knife. Is it a knife? I don't know. No, you ain't got a knife. I want to throw a knife. Unbelievable. That's it. You stay there. Come here. Oh. Yeah, that's you done. Right, so now we're in the meadow or the field. And he's got the rock. The rocks are there. Ooh. Bugger. Get out of my way. This is where we're going to end it, I think. Oh, there's more blokes with the rocks. No, you've got to be so far. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, I don't know. No, oh, so you can get me, but I can't get you. And I just lost a life there. Well, have we got two Abobos up here somewhere? Come on. Oh. 
Yeah, you know what? It's it's not as bad as I remember. As I said, it's uh, it's not too bad, and we've got everything's there, even the abobos. Everything's there. Now oh, line up properly. I can't get away from them. Got you in line now, haven't I? It's over for you two. Yeah, you're going. You're mine. Dish and Ed button. That's mission completed. So that I do, I think. We're not going to play it all the way through because this is a shit game time. We're not going to um, do a long play of it. That's a four. Oh no, I pressed fire again. Anyway, that's level three again. So, you know what? It is shit in comparison with the arcade. But looking at it now, let's have a look. We've got all the characters are there. Even the creeds are there, black and white. The levels are there. Uh, the weapons are there. Two-player mode is there. It moves very well and fast. It's quite uh, responsive. You know, it's not too sluggish. The scrolling's fast. Um, the sound effects are a bit, yeah, maybe a different sound effect could have been used, I don't know. But it's a 48k version, they didn't do a 128k, which is very surprising, some music would have helped. But this is by far better than the other 8-bit versions. The Commodore and the, uh, uh, the Amstrad versions, the original release. And yes, I know, there was another Double Dragon 1 and 2 on the Amstrad, but in the end, I mean, that is vastly superior to the original uh, Double Dragon 1, that was released by Drosoft on the Amstrad, but it's still extremely sluggish, it looks a lot more like the arcade, but the, the colours on that new one, on the 1 to 8k version, Amstrad version, is quite sickly, it's still very slow, it's not easy to move, so it's still not brilliant, um, but this is by far the best um, version out of the three, I think, the original releases, it, it, uh, it plays reasonably well, it's okay, um, what am I going to give it then? Double Dragon on the ZX Spectrum. I've just pointed out all its plus points, the bad points, well, bad points, the disappointing points. There's no music. Um, you know, maybe the characters could be drawn a little bit better, like a Bobo. But a Bobo also bursts through the brick wall as well. And it has that picture of the car on level one. It's all there. I'll give it that. So, you know, looking back now as adults, could we have expected better? I don't know. So, you know what? I'm, for a shit game time, I'm going to give that a... I'm actually going to give that 57 shits. Now, that's extremely low. 57. I think they did, didn't do a bad job on it. I mean, yes, it's a little bit easier with an SD device because unlike the original release on the tape you do have to wait for it to load each stage it's a multi-load game they, are, they did do a 1 to 8k version for some reason I mean it certainly came out uh, late enough for it to have a 1 to 8 I mean the, the, even the plus 2s were out by then so I, I don't quite understand why maybe it was a bit lazy I don't know you think if there's extra memory they would use it but maybe time restraints again i i've no idea because i know by the late 80s they tend to do one to 8k games and then cut it down for 48k machines as opposed to the other way around programming it on the 48 and, and doing another version completely for the one to 8k um it's a bit like a prime example was atari st2 amiga ports it went on for a good couple of years in the late 80s and then suddenly the 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 whole uh, and, uh, the whole deal shifted where most games were created on the Amiga and then cropped and cut down for the Atari ST versions. But yeah, I'm going to give that 57 shits. It's a, sh it's a shit game compared to what the arcade is, you know. It could have done a lot... It could have done better in areas, but um, compared to the other two original 8-bit versions, this is very good. So, um, 57 shits. You know, considering most games are scoring... 80s and 90s on the shitometer. This is uh, this is reasonably good, so um, not good enough to be a let's play, um, because everyone's going to shit on this game. 
and, and rightfully so. There was never any really good versions by Mel Warnhouse. They really did murder them, especially the 16-bit versions. In fact, they were so bad, they were actually funny. I did a shit game time, I think, on the Amiga version, and I was laughing all the way through. It was just, it was just funny. It's, it's one of those examples where a game is really, a conversion is really bad, and yet it's so bad, it's actually funny and, and a little bit enjoyable. I remember I had great times with that with my mate back in school. Uh, we knew it was a terrible version, but it was f still fun to play for some reason, the Amiga version of Taurus T. It's very odd. But there we go. Double Dragon on the ZX Spectrum. That joins the um, the Commodore 64. I can't remember if I've done an Amstrad version. I know I've done Amstrad Double Dragon 2, shit game time. But maybe I will do the Drosoft version of Double Dragon 1 just to finish off the trilogy at some point. But there you go, 57 shits for Double Dragon on the ZX Spectrum. Frank, thank you very much, Stefano, for that. Um, for that little treat, that was my choice. Uh, he paid me £5 to pick a game and I chose this one. So, that's it enough for me. Thanks very much for joining me on this edition of Shit Game Time. If you would like to request a game where you want me to banish the publishers and the and the um, poo grammars into the vault of shitness forever and name and shame their game then please do so the video link will pop up in a minute top left hand corner there should be a thumbnail click that select the game you want name and shame and leave the rest for me until next time take care of yourselves Zeus out of Plopsville <laughs>